Mind's Eye Society is a nonprofit organization. Our goal is to teach bonsai, further bonsai, and help individuals and groups enjoy the art of bonsai. I saw trees in a way I never saw them before. You would see the green, you would see the leaf color, which is so beautiful here on the island, but I never looked at a tree. You never really saw the different ways the different trees grow. And when you start playing with bonsai, you begin to see all that. It just opens your eyes up to a, a new world. Bonsai is age in a pot, the story of the tree, how it got there. It's not just a decorative item. There's a lot more to it. You have to pick it up. You have to scratch the, the soil around the roots to see that that you don't have reverse taper in the roots. You want to have some kind of a, a curve because if it's, uh, usually it's very hard to, to uh, change the, the curvature of a trunk. You don't want something like an oak tree that has great big fat leaves because it'll, it'll never uh, really get small. My teacher is a Japanese professional, one of the top in Japan. I was very lucky to go there and um, it started me on another world. I'm just quite excited about it and I'm very happy to pass it along. I do a lot of work with the local club here. It's a good strong club. It's an early club. They've been at it for a long time. It wasn't until I actually went to a workshop at one of the clubs and I actually knew exactly what to do with it. This reading in the book will not help. We supply a shrub, a pot, um, soil, wire, and most importantly, we supply teachers, uh, members of our club who are experienced, who come and give their time. Now this club has moved along and changed. Um, it's easy to do. It's not my trail, so he never asked. He was thinking about, well, how to just find it. I, I love the teaching aspect of it because I love seeing, my students have been with me, many of them, for, for many years. Uh, there, many of them are teachers in their own right now. And, and then when I get to another group that I've never met before, it's, it's that, that, like any teacher has, you know, to see the little spark start off in, in their mind and you watch their eyes as they start to see things in a different way. That's so rewarding. I love faults in trees. Every tree has a fault. Every person has a fault. That can be their beauty and we try to pull that out and make it a bonus instead of some problem. Some of my ugliest trees uh, still could be my favorite. When you learn bonsai is, gives you this much, you learn that much, then you know there's this much. And when you know there's this much, you know there's more out there. So the more you learn, the more you find out that there is to learn. So it's exciting to explore all that, to pass it on. <laughs>